Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Jelo. I'm the lead of product and design at the Open Hand Foundation. Um, today I have a bit of time and I want to show you the state of AI in Home Assistant. Uh, this video is going to be focused uh, on conversation, so using voice assistants powered by AI to control your home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work my home and I'm going to show a few use cases of what is possible today. All right, so I'm going to start with a very simple use case that is not powered by AI, so that I can compare it afterwards with everything else that would be powered by AI in this demo. So Home Assistant ships with a default conversation agent, and this agent knows many sentences, and if you use one of these sentences, then you can control your home. Okay, Nabu, turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. So this is one of the most common sentences, and if you use it, then something happens in your home the lights are turning on, which is great. I can have the same outcome, which is the light being turned on, even if I use another sentence that the default conversation agent does not know. Okay, Nabu, it's pretty dark in this room. Can you help me? I have turned on the lights in your room to full brightness again. It should be much brighter now. So here what happened is that I said something that the default agent doesn't know. And so we fall back to our AI agent. And our AI agent is able to understand the meaning behind the words, the intention behind the words, and calling the right tool in order to achieve the correct outcome. Uh, when you think about it, that request was straightforward in a way. Uh, in this room, I'm going to make a request that is a bit less straightforward. Uh, and the agent is going to be able to help me because it understands the context of my smart home. Um, which device I have and on which room are they located. So this is the uh, assistant. Okay, Nabu. I'm currently working at my desk and my back hurts a bit. Can you help me stretch my legs? So when you think about it, that request could have been fulfilled a lot of different ways. But because that assistant knows that it is in the office and knows the connected devices that I have in that room, and one of them is a sounding desk and that the controls are exposed to assist, then it is able to help me, which I find very interesting. Uh, so, so far in these uh, three rooms, I have been proactive with my voice assistants, meaning that I have triggered them asked them something and they did something for me, which is maybe one of the most common way of interacting with voice assistants. It's not the one I'm the most excited about. Uh, I'm the most excited about the opposite. So I'm going to go downstairs. We are going to see a small demo. And then after I will explain you what it is. This is for me one of the most interesting ways of interacting with your home by voice. Hey J-Lo, hey home assistant community. I'm Nabu. What do you want me to do? Hello, uh, can you open the shutters in this room, please? The shutters in the room have been opened. Okay, so this is what we are calling start conversation. And it is a way for your home to start conversing with its users. And this is very interesting. There is a lot of automation capabilities there. The demo was very simplistic, but uh, being able to ask users if they want to listen to specific music, if they want to catch up after a long day outside of the home is very, very interesting. Um, in this last room, which is my kitchen, uh, I want to showcase another feature that we added in our voice assistant, which uh, we are calling uh, context sharing or memory sharing between the two agents. And uh, I want to show it to you uh, using a pattern that I'm actually using um, every day almost in my kitchen. So the voice assistant in my, is my, in my kitchen is mostly used to fill my shopping list. That's how I use it. And usually what I'm doing is I'm starting to talk to it with a sentence that it knows. So it doesn't go through AI. So I'm going to say something like, add coffee to my shopping list. Added coffee. Uh, 
I just need to refresh maybe. Uh, and so this is a sentence that, of course, the agent knows. And so coffee has been added to my shopping list. And I can do that many times. I can also say, for example, add paper to my shopping list. Add a paper. And so paper has been added to the shopping list. This is cool. Usually what happens is that after a while, I start to loosen the sentence, right? So I open things, etc. I see other things that are missing. And then I'm just saying like, and rice. and water, and milk, and chocolate, and cereal. Added water, milk, chocolate, and cereal to your shopping list. And that's really something that I'm using a lot of time, right? And the context is actually kept for a long time, so you can do that like for, I don't know, like five minutes, something like this. So you can open the fridge and say, oh, okay, I'm missing tomato. Tomato. And this is very useful. So this is uh, sharing the context between the two agents. And um, actually, uh, most of the agents that I triggered right now, they have their own context and they, 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 they kept it open. So for example, on this one that opened the blind or the shutters, I can just say like, uh, uh, okay, thank you, C close them now. And yeah, they understand like uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, so, um, so that's basically it. That's basically it for the conversation part. This is more or less where we are with AI using you control your home with voice, with voice assistant in a conversation. Thank you.